Where are you guys from originally? Uh, originally upstate New York. Cambridgeshire. But uh, in the time that we've been together, we've lived in Chicago, Vancouver, San Francisco, Boise, Idaho, Manhattan, um, Southern one, France. <laughs> yeah, south of France for three years. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, so West right. Ealing, and now we live out in Shelton. Well, yeah. What's going on? A bit of gypsy blood in you guys, or? <laughs> no, no gypsy blood. Just a uh, really bad, really bad case of the wanders. Uh, when you, well, we're both historians, so uh, you have a bad case of the wanders. Uh, Got to go and investigate something else. Oh, Are tried. you both historians? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Kind of, kind of keeps it in your blood that you have to keep going places and seeing things. So what specifically do you, I mean, do you like specialising? The history of drink. drink. <laughs> Alcohol? Yeah. yeah. Okay. From the earliest archaeological evidence of intentional fermentation, uh, as discovered just in the past few years, in central China 9,000 years ago. All the way through the Arthur You know, uh, the of course there is a, a lot of benefits to, to alcohol. You mm -hmm. see, they use it in many things like uh, medicine. Yeah. Oh Precisely. yeah. Precisely. Um, and uh, to, to sterilize things and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but wouldn't you say in taking it out of moderation, without control, oh. weighs up the? If you were to drink today, um, what is it? Ten liters. Or 12 liters of distilled water yeah. that's pure the purest possible water yeah. but if you drank that today in one day it would kill you so water is also dangerous if you're not but in it's, moderation. The, it's the effect yeah. it's the effect that it has on the prohibitor center isn't it uh, oh, with, well, with alcohol uh, it affects that and your judgment's kind of off well, and it affects I'm everything gonna, else. I'm going to pose one to you. Do you know what happens when you eat a lot of sugar? What really sugar. happens to you? Sugar. Sugar. Okay. Sugar turns into pure alcohol in your bloodstream within two hours. Right. So you're actually drunk from sugar. Okay. So that's, yeah. why, that's why it's so dangerous. Okay. Sugar. Yeah. yeah sugar because it actually makes you loopy and silly and so crazy. When, and so when they, say that, when they say that about yeah. the... The sugar rush and all that—it's—it's yeah. it's, it's actually alcohol being converted from sugar directly in your bloodstream, instead of being distilled and then presented to you. It is actually distilling itself in your bloodstream, and it does cause more plaque, does more damage to the bloodstream than it would if you'd had it, if you'd had it as alcohol. In the, if you add up all the deaths related to alcohol in the United States from overconsumption, from accidents where they could say alcohol was at all involved. Yeah. Last year there were 80,000 of those. If you look at deaths directly related to obesity, yeah. there were 40,000 more. And those were all related, sugar related. Yeah. Right, sugar related. So yeah. there, there were actually 40,000 more deaths from sugar than from alcohol in the United States last year. So the tragedy isn't that alcohol itself is to blame, any more than, than having a sweet is to blame, or to do anything. I mean, you, I, I just was it, how many people have died from running marathons? Mm. Because mm -hmm. they've been in, they have been inhaling <clears throat> gas fumes on the road while they're running and getting healthy. But but here's the thing, like you said, any, too much of anything can yeah, be too, too kind of intoxicated, right? Yeah. But when you know 
what you're doing and the immediate effects because obviously oh, it, it mm-hmm. takes a while to kind of dissolve oh, yeah. and you know with the sugars and yep. stuff like that oh, right yeah. um so that's kind of like uh, it, it, the, you know there's a there's a transition period where it's it's processing right oh, yeah. but with taking alcohol you, you're going to reach to that stage much more quicker isn't oh, it definitely oh, yeah, and because, because you like direct. you said like yep. you said it yeah because yeah, it's direct and yeah. because you said it's more of a social thing yeah yep. You know, um, it, there's probably a higher percentage where people are out actually socialising. Oh, so yeah. isn't those effects more dangerous for well, people? Well, you know, it's the most dangerous effect. And this is another insight you should think about. Yeah. Most people who get really blasted on those cheap alcohol pops, which have sugar plus the alcohol, are getting a double whammy. They're getting the alcohol effect on the immediate end. And then they're doubling the amount of alcohol in the body right, because right. the sugar is processing right behind it. Right. The other problem Boom. actually with that yeah. is that um, alcohol has a very specific effect on the human body. It is a depressant. Mm-hmm. It makes you feel tired. It slows your reflexes. It slows your response time. Yeah. Uh, it has no other effect. So when you hear people talk about, oh, I have a lot of drink, I get into fights. Yeah. Uh, that is not the alcohol, but that's social suggestion. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, they have been told that alcohol will make them fight. Yeah. And so they drink, and that comes out because that's what they are taught to do. Okay. Yeah. You know, so likewise, I, when people drink and they get a bit merry and ha- and they it's start also, hugging and stuff it, like that, it's yeah, because they've been kind of told a program. Exactly. Yeah, pre program. One uh, one thing that just drives me mad is every time like, there was a case a few years ago in the southern United States where this group of teenagers were going out drinking and then they burned down churches and synagogues and a mosque and in court they said to the judge tearfully we will never drink again and the judge was very lenient on them. At no point did they say, we will never handle another pack of matches? Yeah. Another lighter? Right. right. I would rather hear that. Yeah. Or this woman in the, the sun last month, um, who was caught shoplifting while she was on trial for shoplifting, and her lawyer said in her defense, she's drinking heavily and she's promised not to drink again. At no point did she promise not to steal again. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. So alcohol becomes the societal villain in in polite society so often that it, it really, if anyone writes a book about this, it becomes a book of jokes. But doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it mean like um, doesn't it show that this this nation um, mm-hmm. the, the times that we're in now are far more um, immature yeah. to kind of have responsibility to handle the alcohol than yeah. the previous nations. Yes. Well, the, the previous generations. So, so, yeah. so when alcohol was like, you know... Um, alcohol is a symptom, not a problem. Mm-hmm. The problem is, is, is the right. people... The problem the is the irresponsibility and the immaturity right. yeah. but okay. may not be alcohol. Okay. And... Thus, they don't handle so it if, well. So, so if someone You're was absolutely right. So, if, if someone was to, to tell you that you know previous nations before, mm-hmm. yeah, they had they had different type of rulings and it was permissible on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But our nation isn't. Um, would you would you like would you probably agree with that type of verdict that as as a whole, in general, we are much more like irresponsible and we cannot kind of on the whole. Mm-hmm. This, this generation is irresponsible enough they shouldn't be allowed to drive let alone to get out of bed in the morning <laughs> yeah. they're that immature right. I've never seen anything like it yeah it's literally no but I'm talking about like yeah. you know because like alcohol yeah. is powerful stuff I mean well, yeah, yeah, yeah get behind the wheels of yeah. course yeah. but uh, you know um, yeah alcohol you see with the, the youth basically yeah. they, they can't handle it Clearly, they can't handle it. But um, too, that's because they haven't had to earn it either. Yeah. When you've yes. got benefits handed to you, it's cheaper and it's cheaper. And, and it's honestly, you you have you have nothing taking your energy, such as work. Yeah. Then your energy goes into being destructive. Mm-hmm. Right. And it comes out with drink as a side of that, but 
these same people, almost all of them smoke. Yeah. But people don't blame the cigarettes, but the cigarettes are there at the same time. Yeah. So once again, alcohol becomes the societal villain. Well, it's becoming interesting within the beverage industry. The beverage industry is looking at the reality and saying, look, we have got to start teaching the service people about when you should cut someone off from drinking and becoming more responsible for their job and what they do to the customer. And at least it's a start because if you can convince the customer to control himself, if you can at least convince the professional yeah. to be the one to say, look, it, you know, you had your last drink with me. But I also consider the, the producers, the, the people who are making the cheapest ciders and the oh, cheapest course. beers For sure. to also be contributing to the problem. Yeah. Because the people who buy that are buying it for quantity. But 